everyone, and thank you for watching. So this video is going to be Zach's perspective of Duck Camp 2021. This year is a really important year for me because Grandpa went and had his hip surgery and I know that one of his big goals, one of his milestones, was to be up and walking and at duck camp. And this year he's way beyond that expectation. He's doing fantastic and I'm really excited because last year it was raining and he came over to my camp and we were hanging out underneath this makeshift tarp, which I'm pretty sure dad got fit footage of. But uh, while we were underneath there, we were talking about this year and how we were going to put our camps together on the same side of the road and kind of have one double camp between him and I. And we've always been kind of camping buddies that way. So I'm really excited because he's reached his goal and for the past year, I've been looking forward to uh, being up here with him while he's in good health. So we're on the dirt, we got it. I don't know, 10 more miles to go, 11 more miles to go, and we'll be at duck camp. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and thank you for watching. it up here just said hi to everyone and I'm gonna have to probably bring down my canoe first before I unload everything because I can't get that back gate open so
there really was not nearly the traffic that there usually is on a Friday. No. All right, went out, checked out the spot. It's looking good, water's really low. Now I'm back, I'm gonna get this fire started. So we got some coals for dinner. Show you the inside of the tent. Buddy heater. Tot. Blanket over the top to keep all the heat in. So hot. Oh. <laughs> All right, our steak and potato is just about done. And I'm getting hungry, that's for sure. Camp's looking pretty nice. Grandpa just had his dinner. I think he said it was steak with potatoes and onions and mushrooms. Bought that for this weekend and then in our awning here got some fancy lights <laughs> everyone loves grandpa's cabin I do too I like it uh, it looks really cool when the lights are on in the evening but he also has this nice screened in area which would be good if it was really buggy Got his cook stove or his cook set in there. Alright, I'm going to head over and eat my dinner at Dad's camp, chat with him for a little bit, and then probably come back and get my uh, stuff together. And how you have a lot of... He, well, he, he mentioned a gold pan that was on the wall that you got when you were hunting. Yeah, I, I was sheep hunting, and we went up, we were walking, <coughs> playing. Oh, I dropped us off. Then we watched it. And, um, we followed up this creek, and then there was a the creek coming, there was a little waterfall right in the creek, and then uh, under there was a shelf under there. And then we were right next to that was a pile of rock with a metal. There was a glass and char and there was a gold my mine claim in there that someone did the you know, he, he puts it in they then goes to then go to town and registers it. Oh but okay. then anyway, right under it were to come down under the shelf and I reached in there this gold fan that they would have you used to see if there was gold, but it had had some holes all over. But they fit it from the 1800s. Really? And it just sits on the. No one's interested in that kind of stuff, you know. Huh. Yeah, if you ever want any of that, you know, I have. Um, yeah, that's some old boots when I was sheep hunting. I bought their, I think they're four, four, four uh, different kinds of leather. There's caribou and moose and other stuff. They just hang on the wall. Huh. Hello, but, everyone. It is duck hunting opener morning. Right now it's like 5 o'clock, and we are just about ready to walk out. Um, yeah, last night we just spent the night hanging out on the fire, 
Grandpa and I shared stories for a while, so it was nice. But I did put some extra wood on the fire, so if Grandpa gets up and wants to stand in front of it, he can. But anyways, let's get out there. Okay, everyone. So this morning we went out duck hunting, but it's a really slow morning. Uh, Sarah and I only shot a few times. I think Dad got one duck, and I can't remember what Chris and Teresa got. But we came back and we hung out. Now it's early afternoon, and we're gonna go grouse hunting, Sarah and I. But yeah, it's turning out to be a really nice day, so. Just got the fire going, and I'm gonna chop up some potatoes and get them soaking in water so I can cook them up. Sarah and I went out grouse hunting. We didn't see anything. We barely have heard any shots today. I just think that the, the stuff's just not, not really around, but overall, really fun time. I think I'll show you guys my bathroom accommodations. Probably think it's pretty funny. Gotta go way back here. I'm gonna nickname this tree the spider tree because I was back here earlier and man there was some big there's a big spider on here and then I was kind of looking at these holes and I feel like maybe that's their little hideout. <laughs> Do you see it? So I got this Menards bucket and I cut off the bottom of it. And I came out here and I dug a hole. And then this is the top of one of those luggable loos, but the luggable loo uh, bucket is actually a different diameter than these. So it doesn't fit quite right, but it fits enough. And uh, it's a good little Good little bathroom spot. So, yeah, it's been really nice. <laughs> it's real far back here. Nobody can, uh, you'd hear them coming, so no one bothers you. And no one will hear you doing your business either. So, it's kind of nice. Sounds like Grandpa's going to be leaving early in the morning. He normally does. He's got a nice little cook box there and nice table sits on. I really like this blue table he's got. That thing's handy, you just stab it into the ground. Nice setup. Right, right. So 
So do you save money by getting a sportsman versus... Yeah. How many did you buy? Just the one. Only one? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, nothing on television. I mean, it drives you right up the... I think it's just slow up here because the other guys from work that are dust cutting, they all filled out. Really? Yeah. Wow. So I think it's just slow up here. Anyways, you're on the mountain and they put it on your back, but we were above the clouds. I mean, those clouds below us were above and you could see these mountain peaks and then there was no no one pretty soon that they'd be snow and you'd and then we went we would you walk down the mountain with this meet on your back you 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 go through the fog and then you're you oh, in the cool. open again yeah and I try to take pictures but it it, it it didn't you know come out because just you're standing there and then every day we'd go up this mountain that's for where we, we hunted. And every morning you could see the, the, the snow was oh. coming down huh. for, 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 for further, you know. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't know what I thought. What the hell here? I finally in my life want to go to Alaska. Yeah, and so I went like that because I jumped up. And I happened to hit him, knocked him on the ground, broke his glasses. Yeah, and here comes the, the cops, yeah, and I thought, holy balls, what, what am I, I'm supposed to go hunting, and now I'm going to be in, but, but the man, man made, there, to the after he said, no, he didn't do nothing. Okay everyone, we didn't have any luck this morning and when I got back Grandpa had already packed up and hit the road. Sure feels less like camp without Grandpa here. So we're going to do the same, we're going to get packed up and hit the road. This isn't really necessary, but it feels so good. About once a day, just to kind of clean up, get some of that smoke off.
Dad's all packed up and going. Sarah's packed up and going. Hey everyone, that was a really fun weekend, had a lot of fun, and really enjoyed hanging out with Grandpa. We told lots of stories by the campfire, and that's really what it's all about. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.